Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel AI Motion Studio. Today, we're diving into an exciting new integration between Photoshop and Comfy UI that will transform your creative process. By using the SDPPP plugin, the powerful Stable Diffusion Prompt Parsing Pipeline, and how it connects with Comfy UI to take your flux in painting and outpainting workflows to the next level. Whether you're a digital artist, graphic designer, or AI enthusiast, this plugin offers an incredible blend of creativity and precision that can help expand or reconstruct your images in ways that were never possible before. The SDPPP plugin acts as a bridge between the power of AI models like Stable Diffusion and the flexibility of Photoshop. With this plugin, you can leverage prompt-based image generation directly within Photoshop, streamlining the process of integrating AI into your creative workflow. It enables complex text-to-image tasks such as outpainting, where you can extend an image, or in-painting, where you repair or replace parts of an image using AI-generated content. Now, combining this plugin with Comfy UI adds a whole new level of control, for those unfamiliar, Comfy UI is a highly customizable node-based interface for stable diffusion models. This makes it perfect for complex workflows like in-painting and out-painting because you can control every step of the image generation process, from prompt parsing to image refinement, within an intuitive visual interface. By integrating the SDPPP plugin with Comfy UI, we're able to create flux workflows that allow seamless transitions between in-painting and out-painting, opening up endless creative possibilities. To get the workflow, head over to civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you will find both the in-painting and out-painting we released today. First, let's walk through how to install the SDPPP plugin. Open Comfy UI Manager and navigate to the Custom Nodes Manager. Search for SDPPP, then click the Install button. After installation, restart Comfy UI by hitting the Restart button. Next, we open Comfy UI again and click the Settings icon, then scroll down until you find the SDPPP node menu. Here, click Download SDPPP Photoshop plugin and save it to your computer. For users with Adobe Creative Cloud, just log in and then install the plugin directly. But if you don't have Creative Cloud, don't worry, I'll show you how to install the plugin for free. Head over to zxpinstaller.com and download the appropriate version for your system, in this case, the Windows version. We save the installer and run the setup, and once installed, we open the application, then drag and drop the SDPPP plugin into the ZXP installer. The plugin will be installed directly into Photoshop. Now let's check if everything is installed correctly. We open Photoshop, go to the Plugins menu, and look for SDPPP. Click to connect SD or Comfy UI. Now we copy the Comfy UI local URL and paste it into the plugin to establish the connection between Photoshop and Comfy UI. Now we'll start with inpainting. We will open two images in Photoshop. The first is the image you want to inpaint, and the second will serve as the reference object for inpainting. In this example, we're using a pair of sunglasses. We use the crop tool to isolate the sunglasses from the second image, then select the area on the first image where the sunglasses will be applied using the lasso tool. Now, we head over to Comfy UI and load the in-painting workflow. To download this workflow, visit civit.ai by searching for AI Motion Studio. You can find it and download it. Now back to the workflow. Once the workflow is loaded, connect the two images. For the Get Document node, select the main image from Photoshop. For the Get Main Layer node, choose the layer with the in-painted area. For the second Get Document node, connect the cropped sunglasses image. Finally, here we set Layer to send our result to Photoshop to the original document and click Q Prompt. And the in-painted result will appear both in Comfy UI and Photoshop. Now she is wearing a sunglasses. Let's see the result in Photoshop, not bad. Now, for outpainting, we also open two images again, the main portrait image, which will extend, and another landscape image to copy its aspect ratio. With both images opened, we first will highlight and delete the image of the landscape, and we are left with a transparent background. Then we drag and drop the portrait image into the landscape transparent background and adjust it to fit the height. We copy it using Control C and create a new file to paste it into. As you can see, we have three files opened. We will close the first image as we do not need that anymore. 
Next, we load the outpainting workflow in Comfy UI. We set Get Image from Photoshop to the new file and set Send Image to Photoshop to the document with the transparent background. Ensure everything is properly connected and click Q Prompt. Nicely done. Now let's check the results in Photoshop. Lastly, if you're facing issues with the workflow or some nodes aren't working, no worries. Just head over to the Comfy UI Manager, click on Install Missing Custom Nodes, and hit the Install button. After that, make sure to update everything and restart Comfy UI. This should fix all the node problems. And there you have it. That's a complete overview of the Photoshop plugin to Comfy UI workflow. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.